Whoa. I mean, just look at this guy here. <laughs> 39. They might set our place on fire, but... And uh, now it crashed again. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Obsidian Games has just released major news on Grounded, which will include tons of new items, a couple of new futures, and even a new enemy. And although it's not publicly available yet, you can join the test server to test out all of these new features, which will be then go live in the 1.2 update. If you go want to try it out yourself, if you want to play around with the new things and stuff like that, here's how you do it. Basically, go to the grounded.obsidian.net webpage. I'll link a bunch of links down below for you to easy access. Also, I will link down Obsidian's Twitch live stream where they show off the features themselves as well. You go on the webpage, you click on the help make test 1.2 super duper as possible. Scroll down how to access a public test. This will be different for you if you're an Xbox player or if you're a Windows 10 player. I am only have the Windows, I don't have the Xbox unfortunately. So I'll show you through the Windows 10 way. It's all written down here. Basically we need to download the Xbox Insider hub first. We'll open the Microsoft Store. We search for the Xbox Insider hub. Get that, down, download and install it. And then once it's downloaded, we will open it. Now we need to join the Xbox Insider program. Already being an Xbox Insider, get access to new Xbox features, apps, games, and more when you join the Xbox Insider program. So you click join, find the terms and conditions, make sure to read everything, and then click accept. Once everything is loaded up, find the preview tab on the left and find the grounded public test. Open it up and click join. Read before the joining the test. Joining the Grounded public test grants access to a preview version of Grounded in a form of a game update. If you leave the Grounded public test and return to the released version of Grounded by uninstalling and reinstalling the game, you, your converted games may not be accessible. Attempting to load them may crash your game until this preview version is released to the public. There's a chance that save files may become corrupted as a result of the conversion process due to unforeseen bugs. So, so you do have to be a little bit careful about this. It says on the webpage that it is recommended that players participating in the Grounded Public Test start a new game as the updated content can affect previous saves if they are used. So that's the thing, it's just your own risk. Like, it, I will do a new game because my current main game, I'm building the Sandcastle and I spent hundreds of hours on that and I don't want to get that to waste. They do recommend that you start brand new with this. And since we mainly want to test it out today, um, I'm going to start with a brand new file as well. All right, installation is done, so let's go. Now on your starting screen, you should have this update notice here on the right side. Wasps enter the war yard. Yes, finally, we get some new enemies. Bases get cozy. Handy Ignite helps you build much, much more. Brought you by the Super Duper. Yes, and the Super Duper is a machine where you can duplicate your items. So as they recommend, we're going to do a new game. Okay, so here we want to select custom and then customize. And we want to make sure all these, these are all new features, all recipes unlocked. So you can craft things, but you still have to get up supplies for it or free. Well, we just use it uh, without any supplies at all. We're going to go everything all, all mutations unlocked, fully yoked. So we don't need to collect any molars. Uh, boxing, I might toggle that later off then again. Building integrity, it was fine. Pet invincibility. Um, this is the big one. Handy Gnat enabled. Hell yeah. Let's do that one. And we go into custom and go accept. Go with Max as always. Start the game. It's our test yard. And let's go. Excited. Let's check out, first of all, our mutations. And we got the loadouts now, so we can combine multiple of them and save them as a as a preset, sort of, to quick quick choose. And we got a couple of new ones, eh? Bardic Inspiration. Twig of your bowstring mimics that harp empowering your allies as you shoot. Very interesting. I think this is all old. Spicy Safety, I think, is new. Smashing Resist, Stepping Resist, very interesting. Sour Sensation, Damage Reflect, Dissection, Loot Luck. That's interesting. Interested, would that only also affect maybe the gold cards? Not sure. Um, yeah, the Hauling Hero, 
can haul more stuff now. That's huge. And I think the other ones are all the regular ones. Now, if we hit T on Windows here, we're going to have the loadouts here and they're going to be quick applied. Super dope. And then also we have a quick menu here, which shows us uh, which loadouts have what loaded. And of course, we got tons more um, to build, but let's first get to a location. Yeah, I'm building here a quick platform to place all the new things on. And one of the new features, which is already insane, is basically in the old time you click one by one, but now you can click and drag and it will drag as long as as long as you can look kind of. I think you can do more than three. It's just the angle I'm at right now. I wonder if this works in corners too. Can we do this? <gasps> yes. Oh, what? Oh, dude. No, no way. Okay, that's as many three times 11. Whoa. Yo, that's insane. This is insane. This will make everything so much faster. Let's see, we're four out, which seems to be the max reach. And then 11 to the side. So 44 planks at once. That's insane. Absolutely huge feature. Gonna save you hundreds and hundreds of hours. Especially if you do mega builds. Um, it works even if there's uh, say something here. It works through it as well. It just fills that in. That's that's super nice too that they already thought about that. Because that's that would be something that's easily gl uh, would glitch and uh, cause you some issues. So they already fixed that. That's oh, not fixed. I mean, they included that feature, which is awesome. I mean, the speed now is just absolutely insane. Look what we build in just uh, 10 minutes, maybe. 10 minutes, we build this massive thing, which would have taken a while. Uh, without that new feature, so already loving that. Hey buddy, how's it going? How did you get out here? All right, let's start out with some new features here. And there's so much, but what I am the very most excited about is, of course, where if I find them, this is a large plank pallet now. Um, which with the regular one, you can hold 21. With this one now, look at this beast. And it's beautiful too. They added a couple more designs to it, which is really, really nice. Um, so let's let's get a couple of brass planks here. So let's see how much we can carry as well. Basically, let's make the fluffa have, which allows us to carry five more. And let's get the red end. Where is it? Red end, red end, red end. Arm guards and the red end leg thingies. Right, and kneecaps. And we don't have the uh, uh, assistant manager. Not assistant manager. We don't have the intern badge yet. But basically, if we turn this on, we have the fluffer hat should give us plus five, plus six, plus seven. And with the new potation, we can carry a lot more. So now we can already carry 27. When he's seven is huge. And another absolutely insane feature is now we can deposit the whole stack. Finally. We've been waiting for this for so long. No more absolutely demolishing your keys and trying to deposit 21, now even 27, or pretty soon a lot more uh, stacks. Now it's uh, a lot, lot, lot easier. Just carry your whole stack over, bring it in, deposit the stack, bam. Then, of course, one of the absolute ins most insane things is the Gnat. Oh, look at it go. It's so cute. As Handy Gnat, you can fly and design large bases without dealing with that pesky law of gravity. That's so cool. So we could use jump to go up and down. And then I think this has a light. How can we turn on the light? Uh, light toggle with right. Oh, yes. That's actually pretty powerful. This seems maybe even stronger than the helmet. I'm not really sure. Okay, we can control the speed of the flight as well. It can go slow or it can go fast, similar as the camera. I'm not sure how fast this thing can fly. How far. 
So what I'm actually super excited about, because now this gives us now the option that we can go in here. Now we can place zip line angers here. Right? And go back. And we build another one here. And then we connect it. So I don't have the upgraded zip line yet where we can go both ways, but if you complete that in the story mode, um, then we can easily just fly up anywhere we want to. I'm sure there's a limit to the Gnat, but um, you can fly where you want to and then put down your zip line anchor and then zip there. Let's see how fast this guy can go. Man, I haven't seen this world with nothing built in for a long, long time. It's kind of cool to see it so empty and so untouched. Wow. Wait, what? Is there no limit to this? Still going. Wait, we're already on the shed. Is there no limit on how far the Gnat can go? Whoa. And then we can also clip through the walls here as we can when we build up. <laughs> That's funny. That's amazing. How far can we get out of here? Man, this handy gnat like opens up so many possibilities now to do crazy stuff. Oh, now we flew too far. <laughs> okay, now we flew too far. That was absolutely insane. I guess it can't go in the water. No, it can't get it. It got soaked. So if it touches water. Hey buddy, how's it going? So that reach is absolutely ridiculous. I'm definitely gonna test that out, but that's gonna open up so many I ideas and possibilities to even further, like maybe even try to break the game, access things quicker and stuff like that. And I think also that's why Obsidian plans to probably keep it only in creative mode. So you can't have it in regular mode because it just opens up so many things like you can cheat quite basically pretty easily go to locations which you normally would have to fight a lot of enemies or be able to build stuff now you can go anywhere really really fast <laughs> this is nuts everything goes so fast now okay let's just do it and then let's build a uh, little floor here. It won't let me build here, interesting. What if we use something else? Okay, there might be some weird glitch or something. Hmm. Okay, something just got weird. Okay, let's go over here real slow. <laughs> that was pretty slow. Okay, here's where we want to go. You probably know what I'm going for. Hey, buddy, give me that sweet, sweet batch. Thank you, sir. Okay, let's see what's our new max hole. So we got the fluffy puppet head, we got the red arm, and we got the red knee pads. And then we have the intern badge, and then we'll also drink workers comp. And the new mutation with hauling strength, which is already maxed out. Um, let's see how much we can pick up. 39. 39 that's absolutely insane so let's see we've got 39 let's place them in here all of them let's see how much how much we need uh let's get 21 they're all in there 39 21 46 t that might be the max right 60 so they carry 60 pallets compared to 21 for the regular ones so almost triple, which is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, even that we can carry, uh, I wish we could also stack load, but that's fine. That we can carry 39. Don't quote me in that. Maybe, maybe there's another thing which we can carry 40 now, but this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, just look at this guy here. 
<laughs> 39. That's crazy. Insane. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm pretty sure this applies also to the uh, stem palettes. What with little weevil heads? This is dope. I like that. This looks cool. Yeah. I like that they added the designs to it too. You know, like don't just make them bigger or larger, like make them nice too. Make them a little bit more, uh, you know, cute to look at. All right. So let's go down the the building menu. What else? We got new stuff. Um, and I want to continue where we are right now. The palettes. So we got a regular palettes. So it seems like they kept the old stuff in the new tier. And then we have a large storage chest, uh, which looks really, really nice. And has tons more stuff we can put into, a lot more capacity. Like that kind of piratey light look. And the next thing is the turrets now have been combined into one. And now basically you have different uh, emu types. Which honestly, I'm not a huge turret fan, but maybe this now will change that. Yeah, so we got sappy rounds, pointy rounds, rocky rounds, groundy rounds, and the most favorite of everybody. Where are ya? Splody rounds, but also burny rounds. <laughs> the naming also. <gasps> We got a new bow, yes. Oh, that comes with the new uh, bee wasp armor set, which we're gonna look into in a second. So we have the regular rocks. We have groundy, groundy rounds, which is basically the bee pollen one, which should slow down the enemy a little bit. Whoa. The sappy rounds, the sticky ones, the pointy ones. Uh, these ones are crazy. Charcoal ones. They might set our place on fire, but... Basically, now we have fire, and I'm really interested what we can use that on. Will that interact with dry grass, things like that? Not really sure. Will it destroy our base? Not too much, though. And then... Last but least, we got the splody rounds. Uh, which is just like a splat worst. That explodes. Maybe it's not the best place to test it out here on water. Okay, this one's gone instantly. But that's cool. So they kind of uh, combine these old two turrets into uh, the one combined one, which we can load with different things, which is pretty awesome. I wonder if they add it up that we can use it upside down. We use it now. Yeah, okay, it's still the same. <laughs> so we still have the same issue that... Uh, it doesn't flip us, and I don't see an issue, uh, an option for us. Maybe that's something they could fix in the future. Another thing that changed is now clays and things like that, we can now relocate them. Because before we, we couldn't do that, before you had to break it down, now we can uh, relocate it. Some of the... Oh, wait, that's a curved one. Interesting. That's very, very cool. And a half one. <gasps> that's huge. That's that's super super useful. Wait, I'm using this menu wrong because I've never used this one before. We can Oh, you can swap these with other variants. Right. And we got a whole new set for acorn stuff. Of course, we got the triangle, the corner stairs now. I hope really one day that they are gonna give us more angles. Cause that's that's just not enough. Um and we have seen with small end now. They have an, an extra placement menu where you can rotate it completely free of any accesses, which is pretty insane. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it gives us that option yet. But no complaining. I mean, there's so much new stuff. Okay, we're going to build a quick base here. And laying floor was never that easy ever. I mean, you just drag it out and boom. And it's so fast. It's insane. But I did just build one and I had an issue and I want to try if I can recreate that. So I just built one here and it kind of crashed. So, and I think what happened was I was trying to build a windowed wall here. 
which shouldn't be an issue. But then I think what happened was I was accidentally, possibly, dragging it down. Which I didn't see when I was on the top. And then everything crashed. No, okay, this one's fine. So it seems like it's replacing the old blueprints, which is really nice. See, okay, it happened again. So something's happening, which it doesn't like the connection maybe of those. I should have looked at how they were connected. Maybe there was some weak points somewhere, but even the stairs completely disappeared, which is kind of crazy because they were completely placed independently on the floor. And that's why it's good to use a new game, a uh, new game file and not the uh, not the one you care so much about. Also, my frame rate gets really, really bad. I'm not running on like the best gaming PC in the world. But I never had issues like that while placing. I guess because you play so many things at once. It's a little bit much for uh, your system to handle, possibly. Okay, this is all fine. Okay, something got weird just now. I guess it's a lot now for the game to handle um, which points they're connected to, right? Yeah, something was just weird here. Now this works. Um, so I do want to have a little balcony out here. It's kind of, but it's awesome that it works around the corners too. Um, okay, that kind of glitched in there, but it's nice. But I'm also stretching it with all these floating bouillon uh, floors here. That's a lot for the game to handle for sure. Okay, let's try these walls again, and I hope it doesn't crash this time. Maybe I'll don't do this many at once. Okay, that's better. So let's have him build a couple of walls too. Yeah, the Gnad works really, really well. You can see it's so easy now. Um, and you're also so much faster. We have all the same commands with Ignite. We can break things down. We can copy blueprints. And no, it crashed again. No! Okay, there's definitely some difficulties here. Again, it might have to do something with my PC. I'm not sure. I mean, I can play the game normally as fine. But I have like a 1080 Ti graphic card, which is just like, it's outdated. I gotta buy a new one. But I hope it, it doesn't get as laggy on your end. It's funny that the floor never breaks. The floor is always fine, which I would think of. Um, it's probably the first thing to break. But anyways, let's uh, stop trying to make a nice house here. Let's just see how far, far we can push things. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we go all the way up. Yeah, and it just breaks down. Is it just... I wonder if they added... Um, is it just too heavy now? Have they changed something with the support structure? Because obviously, it's now supporting five. But in the old game, in the, in the normal game, I think it can support hundreds. And it won't break. Oh, but see, it's getting red now. So this might be... This was blue. This was just blue. 
I mean, it might just be me here. Also, why are these red? Why are these marked red now? Are they like damaged? They're like as if we were in attack. Are we being attacked? And again, I've never seen that happen in the regular game. So this might be just a bug. Let's just measure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight and it breaks. Let's try that again. Try it somewhere else so the floor doesn't break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, again, eight. One, a half, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half. Okay. So seven and a half over and it, and it starts to collapse. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh. Maybe it has, does it have something to do with those bouillon, um, with the floor maybe let's check it out here okay, let's place one here one two three four five six seven eight and down no even here on the rock so it should be everywhere the same then one two three four five six seven eight and it just goes down that's strange um but even before we didn't build over we only build one floor height but all the flooring was somehow too much eight eight and it's down okay so there's something with eight eight in height and it starts breaking um doesn't matter it doesn't seem like it matters how many there are next to each other that's a little bit sad a little bit disappointing but again it's it's an early release for testing so i'm sure they will fix that Guys, okay, instead, just make a small house, and uh, I'm gonna use the gnat for the roofing. Let's see how that works out. So, where's the roof panels? And of course, we're gonna test out the new acorn roof. Where are you? Where's the acorn roof? Where's it hiding? Here, nice. That looks really cool. I mean, the speed difference from before to now is just insane. You literally just stay in one place. And drag it over. And make massive things here. In seconds. And now let's get the top piece on. Nice, so the roof works really well. Uh, let's see what can we do here on the side. I do kind of want to stretch it out, but honestly, I don't want to break it again, so... Oh, we do have a Pencon Valley, that's cool. And then I guess we could build it like this. Ah, unfortunately, we can't um, flip it. Oh, well, that's still, that's kind of cool. I like that. Hmm, doesn't like that. Okay, things start breaking now. <laughs> kind of puzzling a lot of things here and these bottom walls now they don't work anymore <laughs> things just start to especially this here on the sides it doesn't allow me to place those okay let's leave this side be <laughs> and try to figure out the other one um it looks kind of cool but not exactly what i was going for oh now it breaks the roof 
Stop breaking everything. Well, okay. Well, that <laughs> didn't really work out too well. Um, so let's see what else we got. Um, we got a bunch of really cool interior stuff. Not sure if this ramp was always down here. This kind of cool. These mushroom brick corner stairs. I like the look of them a lot. Um, how, the way they built them. That's, that's, that's cool. Yeah. That looks really cool. So if you're building arenas or whatever, or a castle thing, um, that comes in handy a lot. Now the big thing, we got uh, awnings now. Awnings are great. Um, we have red clover and crow feathers. So that's really nice if you want to build a little outside roof. And... Okay, it, 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 I shouldn't do too much over here, but you can place them anywhere for a little shade something like that make like a little nice little campsite or something like that maybe yeah if you want to have a little rest outside area or something like that for for your friends to sit in um that that's kind of cool make like a little bus stop or something like that that's that's really really cute another big one of course is beds we have a bunk bed now so your friends can sleep over here at your place now and then also we have this really cute covered up bed, kind of like, you know, um, very, very cute, kind of like princess or um, fits very well in a castle, I think. With that design is pretty cool, which is called the petal bed. Really, really nice. And uh, not that hard. To, I mean, you need moth, moth fuss a lot, so you have to kill a bunch of moths. So it's not like the easiest thing to get. We do have a really cool looking new chest which also holds a lot more stuff so you get two more rows of material looks really really cool kind of like piratey dungeon style really really nice love this one uh we already checked out the the pallets uh the new pallets and the plank um which is one of my favorite things for sure next up is decorations decorations is a lot first of all like this fireplace is absolutely gorgeous and building it like that is already cool but with the new feature now you can build literally place it click and drag and if you put it in the right spot which i have not it will build a chimney up for you and i'm wondering okay it did not really work <laughs> let's try this out let's drag it up maybe it doesn't like that roof but basically, it should, there's a separate chimney for it, and it will automatically add it to it, which is really, really nice. Um, and then if we light it, you can, with, with all the other ones too, you can change the color, saturation, and brightness of it. So one, two, not touching it. This works. Now if we do it again, by going through the roof, This should technically be able to go over and done. Nice, nice. So it will go through and it will work. So light it up. And yeah, smoke's coming out. Nice. That's really, really cool. I'm curious to see how that's going to look out at night. And then, of course, we can change the color and all these things. I don't think this will affect the smoke color, but uh, let's see when it gets darker how it's going to look like. We do have the chimney, but we have one with uh, with a with a rooftop attached, and this one also you can drag up. Really cool. Um, I, I guess I should have put a regular one down first, so you don't. Oh, that's a bit low. Maybe we need two, and then now we can put this. So that's another option, and then the smoke will be able to travel through, which is super cool. And now when it's getting dark, perfect to test out this toenail chandelier, uh, which looks absolutely insane. I mean, if you think about it, a bit disgusting, <laughs> but it is definitely cool. Uh, light it up. And then I'm pretty sure we can customize that. Yep, we can change all these colors too. Wow, look at that in blue. That looks really, really cool. And I'm pretty sure as with all the lights, 
we can cr crazy combine them to make some really crazy stuff. What about the other one? What about this one? Can we put this one on here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So we can even make it even crazier if you combine all of these. And then, of course, change those colors. No, up the, up the small ones. Yeah, you can make some really, really cool stuff here. That's cool. A lot of people have been building chandeliers customly with things like that. Now we have one right off the gate, um, which looks really, really cool. But we also have really nice uh, candles. So we have an ant candle and a spider candle. And you can place them pretty much anywhere. They look really, really cool, like a spider hat on top of it. The creepiest that of all things, I think, are these manned braciers. Absolutely awesome. Like, I want to have that in my house. I have a 3D printer here. So I'm actually thinking about maybe somehow 3D print that. That would look absolutely dope. Uh, and then we have like a sitting kneeling one too, a bigger one. Um, like imagine let's just have those across the whole room. I mean, that's absolutely cool. I don't know why they chose demand, but if they would add that later on with like brood mothers or something like that, that would be really, really cool. And I'm pretty sure we can, oh, we cannot change the color on this one. Okay. Which makes sense. I mean, it's charcoal. I think we can even like probably put them inside the walls as, as, as most of the times and kind of have an effect of them glowing through. We clip them in here. I mean, I shouldn't clip too much with all this stuff, but... Yeah, it will slightly come through and then kind of eliminate all these nooks and cracks and stuff like that. So if we put them inside this little cabin here and light them up, you should be able to see them from the outside, but, you sh but it lights up the wall really, really nice. Um... And now it's dark, we can see the smoke's not really lit up too much, but the fireplace looks awesome. The pinecone table, I think, is new. I haven't uh, experimented too much with interior stuff, but a really nice, decent little table here. And you can probably combine them if you place them better than me to have make like a really nice big table. They kind of nicely clip into each other. So you could make a big of a chunkier kind of meeting room table thing. Take a couple of candles and put them across. To make everything really nice and uh, beautiful. Cool stuff, the more the better. And those are normal. And another major thing is the sofa, of course. A pupa leather couch, super nice. It fits two people too, so if you're in multiplayer, your friend can chill next to you. I don't know what happens when you have three people. Well, love two is like he starts chilling right away. He's perfectly in the corner. Speaking of chilling, we got a freaking hot tub. It looks actually pretty cool at night. Um, so I wanted to show that off real quick. And you can soak in it. And he's like chilling right away. He's kind of like hanging out there. He puts his head back. He closes his eyes. He's really enjoying it. And what's awesome is you actually get a buff. Um, where's your health buff? Well, we got so much on right now. So yeah, we get the hot spring buff. Rejuvenating waters of a natural hot spring are healing you over time. Um, it's getting really dark and I think we're done with the light stuff. So let's sleep real quick. Oh, so sleeping in a luxurious spot grants an all day bonus to exhaustion time. Uh, and also to defense because we slept in the nicer bed. That's dope. I mean, that's really, really useful. I never build anything else in a tent <laughs> in this entire game. So that's something I would definitely do if we get that. Um, we got tons more vases, which I'm not going to get into because I mean, very small detail. Um, love this gong here. This gong is absolutely cool. And of course, what happens with the dong, it dongs.
That's cool. Okay, and then this should also work. Nice. We just also got another buff here. What is that? Attacks do more damage because of the environment. Wait, we got it from shooting that dong. Whoa, this bow is crazy strong. We got it from shooting that dong. Oh, of course we broke it. <laughs> There's so many new things to, to still figure out. Um, wait, maybe it says it on it. Dedicate to the mysterious order of mans. Strike this mighty gong to inspire immense attack strength for short duration. Okay, so that's actually really, really useful. Immense attack strength. That you can take this to like boss fights, place it before or around it, and then shoot that when you go in. And then you can dismantle it again. And it doesn't take too much material. Just pine cone, green shield bug, black ox, sap, and lindrop. That's all pretty easy to get. That's really, really cool. Aphid statue, is this new? I'm not exactly sure. We These smaller picture frames, they are definitely new and they're extremely cute. Um, let's place one here on the table. And then, of course, we can use your uh, your signs in here. Really, really nice. Very, very cute. And I guess they can be wall mounted. I hope so. No, they're only standing. Interesting. So we cannot put them on the wall. They're only to be placed on the floor or on table or something like that. Nice. These shelves here are really cool too. Uh, so we got an acorn shelf, koi, koi scale shelf, and a pinecone shelf. Modern farmhouse, rustic minimalist. Was it minimalist? Rustic maximalist. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> So we got some books here, you got some, got some grounded uh, fiber or something maybe. Uh, we got some little figures here. I don't know, that's the black ox beetle, maybe a very cute version of it. And some vases and stuff. Um, super cool. And then the deep dish, also a couple of books. Kind of the same thing, just rearranged and added a little kind of pen holder or something like that. And the modern farmhouse. Uh, I mean, all of them pretty much have the same stuff. They're just different arranged. But that's kind of cool to have the option at least. Because I don't think you can place things. Let's see if we uh, make it a minimal minimalist. And then see if we can put that picture frame on it. I hope we can. Because that's what it's... Yeah, we can. Cool, cool, cool. That's awesome. So you could uh, put your friends' photos up here. Can't put it in the middle, I guess, right? Yeah, it's a little bit too large for that, unfortunately. We also have a trash can. And surprisingly, the trash can has a huge amount of storage. So you can put maybe all your wasted food and stuff in there. Not even sure what that is. It's just kind of like a garlic-shaped hat or something like that. Like, it's funny. It has an interesting shape to it, so I'm sure you can maybe do something funny, combine it somehow with something to make it look like a person or maybe give this guy here some pants or something. I wish we could put an eyes or something on it. Uh, cool, and it's nice that it works as a, a treasure chest as well. Talking of treasure chest, we've got these massive shelves here. Uh, we got a, a short pine cone dresser. And of course it has even one more line added of storage here, which is really nice. It has a cute little uh, face in there. And you can hot deposit it and stuff like that, like 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 a regular chest. Then we have a nice little uh, tall pine cone dresser, which hosts the same amount as the other one. And then we do have the armory, armor, arm, armor, I think. Um, which also hosts enough, but it's kind of, I guess it's dedicated for all your armor stuff to put in there. And then we got a bunch of statues and things like that. I think most of these were available before. Um, these Bulldog statue, it's actually massive. And you can kind of put it on the wall. If you, if you go for like a kind of a Asian temple vibe or something like that, that can be really, really uh, useful for that. Sure, and they, they, they clip into each other nicely. You can actually make them have like 
20 arms or something like that. Yeah, just look, look at that. That's kind of crazy. Imagine having like an entire ceiling. Just those guys here hanging. And, uh, and, and you're walking in. I think there's definitely something you could make with this stuff pretty cool. Uh, creative things. <laughs> crazy. How does that even work? Maybe it's even like a nice quake make makeshift uh, bridge or something. Got these massive figures here. Um, which can also for some reason clip... Okay, thank you. You could kind of clip them together for some reason. I mean, that might be fixed later. Uh, you got a little Wendell statue here. Maybe we could put that on here as well. On our little bookshelf. Uh, very, very cute! If you... You probably heard already, there's also more enemies. I mean, wasps. One enemy. But, to my surprise, actually, there's also wasp queen. So we finally got another end boss. I'm not sure if she's already there yet. Um, but you can actually see that in the food crafting, the BBQ medley. So we need Bee Stanger, Mosquito, Tiger Mosquito, and Sour Lump, super easy to do, to call the Flying Queen somewhere. I don't know yet. I'm definitely going to try that. I'm going to attack that. I'm going to try to find her. So I'm going to switch my mode back to, you know, taking damage and being hungry and all that stuff because I would want to do it legit. Um... But that's really cool that we have um, something new in here. Cozy is level 5. We're just getting cozy and cozier by the time. Yeah, I think the enemies are all the same. Exactly, except the, the stuff was... You want to see it? You want to see it? I want to see it. Okay, let's check it out. This massive, massive was queen. Um... If you don't want to see it in full, click away now, because this is definitely going to spoil um, how it looks like. And I feel a little bit bad of doing it, but I'm also like a little bit too curious. Can we hang on to you guys? Okay, thank you so much for your support here. Look at this thing. This is huge. Stuffed Wasp Queen. So, if it's Wasp Queen, why does it say... Because there's stuffed wasps, right? But it's the BBQ medley. Interesting. I'm not sure. I don't think they added any. Maybe because we need to kill a beast. You need one bee stinger for it. I don't know if there's wasps and beans kind of combined, but I, I think they're probably separated. But she looks awesome. Look at that. Really, really badass. And since we already added it, let's make a regular wasp on here too. Very, very similar, but not just like as devilish with the mouth. She's got like a red mouth kind of. She definitely has some biting attacks for you. And they probably sting you a lot and stuff like that. Similar to bees, not sure. We'll, we'll find out pretty soon. Um, so those two are added. I'm not sure. I don't think there was anything else added. Then of course we got a new bow. And we also got new armor. And it stays in the same theme. Is this new? The Bard's Tudor, I should know that. I don't know, I think this one is new. The Wasp Morion. And then the, where is it? The Wasp Breastplate. And also the Wasp Griefs. Charge Shot Combo and Light Armor. So with this set attached, equipped, we should do tons more damage. Looks kind of cool. I'm not really loving the helmet, to be honest. Because it doesn't really resemble a Wasp. You know, it looks kind of like medieval. I wish it would have something more with these red eyes on it or something like that. So there you have it, guys. That's all the new things you can add and build in, in Grounded now with the test build at least. And of course, it's not the real update yet. So there's a lot of boxes, bugs they need to fix like we just saw here. Um, but I absolutely love it. Like the amount of work they put in for all these new items is incredible like all these new statues and figures and the fireplace and the sofa and the whirlpool and you know these are things that they don't really are necessary for a game to work but they add just like a little bit more extra to it to make yourself uh, a really nice cozy base which is really really cool and i'm really really happy that obsidian keeps working on that Again, if you haven't seen their live stream where they show a couple more features, I'll link it down below. And I also link down below the, the web page where you can read through how you can sign up yourself to be in the test. Ooh, the whirlpool just did something funny. The whirlpool just lit up. 
that's cool yeah i'm really really happy with it i'm gonna dive deep a lot more over the next couple of days and weeks and i hope as soon as it rolls out uh, uh as as an official update we can use the gnat to continue on the sand castle which i haven't been able to work on in a while but i really want to go back and continue it and the gnat would be a massive massive help and especially also like the dragon drag feature that you can build up to 44 wall pieces or floors at the same time absolutely insane i mean i could then finish the sand castles probably in a couple of weeks instead of months um what what did you think what's your favorite piece of this whole new uh catalog of items is it the whirlpool is it the sofa let me know in the comments down below next video for me will probably be trying to take on the wasps and maybe even the wasp queen so stay tuned for that and as always i wish you a beautiful fantastic amazing happy successful and just joyful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks and bye-bye.